Today we're going to read two stories, A Day in the Ocean and Finding Nemo. A Day in the Ocean. Who's deep down in the ocean, steering up the sands? Why, it's a bright red lobster. He has claws for hands. Do you guys see the red lobster? You can see right through the jellyfish as he moves through his watery home. His tentacles are long and stringy. His head shaped like a dome. Do you guys see the jellyfish? What color is the jellyfish? How funny are the clownfish with their bright stripes and fins. They race with friendly seahorses. Who do you think will win? Sea turtle's feet are shaped like flippers. He spends his whole life in the sea, but he comes up to the surface to breathe air like you and me. The octopus has eight arms and he's waving them at you. He says, come visit us again, swimming in the ocean blue. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Now we're gonna read Finding Nemo. On the first day of school, Nemo swims with his class. His dad, Marlin, worries because Nemo isn't a strong swimmer. But Nemo believes in himself and in his lucky fin. As Nemo bravely swims into deep water, a diver scoops him up and takes him onto a big boat. Oh no. Marlin chases the boat frantically, but it speeds away. Marlin sets out on a journey into the big blue ocean to find his son. A forgetful but friendly fish named Dory swims up to Marlin. She offers to help search for Nemo. Nemo has been taken to a dentist's office. The other fish are nice, but Nemo misses his dad and longs to go back home. Dory finds a clue about Nemo. The diver's boat was headed for Sydney, Australia. A school of moonfish helpfully points the way. Marlin and Dory are soon surrounded by jellyfish. Marlin tries to help Dory escape, but both fish are stung. When Marlin wakes up, he and Dory have been rescued by a group of sea turtles. Surfing the East Australian current, they are headed straight for Sydney. What luck! Dory and Marlin shoot out of the current. Nigel the Pelican, one of Nemo's new friends, scoops the pair into his mouth and carries them to the dentist's office. After a great escape, Nemo finds his dad. At last, the two clownfish and their new pal Dory return home. Marlin is proud of his brave son. The end. Bye, friends.